Hi, I'm Jack Green. I'm in the mathematics department here at Mountain Hood Community College. I've been here for about 15 years and I am also the co-chair of the Textbook Affordability Task Force. And I'm here to tell you about some of the aspects of OER, what it is, how it benefits faculty and students, and a little bit about my experience in writing my first OER content. Some of the benefits for students are that OER, Open, open Educational Resources, um, can be, well, first of all, they're no cost or low cost if they wanted to print something up, just whatever the cost is of making it a physical object. Um, but also that they're shareable. So you might get a free book from a publisher, but you may not be able to share that with others. Or you may not be able to edit that the way you want it. So OER means you can share it, you can edit it, and it's truly make it yours. And for faculty, that means the same thing. So one of the big hurdles that we have as faculty in adopting books is that uh, a publisher will give us a book that doesn't entirely match our curriculum or it doesn't match how we teach. So we could take an open educational resource, we could edit it, change it, add to it, uh, and make it our own so that it, it, it matches exactly what it is that we want for our courses. In terms of savings for students, for instance, my OER book that I'm going to use for pre-calculus, Math 111, um, it costs about a hundred dollars. So if I have 30 students, that's three thousand dollars in savings just for that one section of pre-calculus. We have at least 11 sections of pre-calculus every single term. So if we were to have across the board OER in every single one of our sections for all of our math classes, if we were to, to develop or adopt those uh, OER that currently exist, we'd be th saving thousands of dollars every term to our students. My experience in creating an OER started a long time ago. I wanted to develop online activities for math so that students can do work outside of class and still get the support and the feedback that they need. So when they come to class, we could talk about the higher level understanding of that particular subject. So essentially do the easy stuff at home and do the hard stuff in the course, which is sort of the opposite of what we do things now. So I started a long time ago, about 10 years ago, and then I realized that uh, there was free technology out there for me to use and existing content that I could edit and change on my own. So I took both of those technology and pre-existing content and I mixed them together and I made it my own to create what is now going to be an OER Math 111 pre-calculus book. And I hope to be using that for the rest of the term, uh, well, for the rest of the time that I'm teaching here at Mount Hood. So this book is essentially an online book and you could go to it from Jack Green Mathematics at the Mount Hood Community College website. It has its own link. And when you go to the book, um, by clicking on a link, you go to the book. You can access it through the college. You can access it on your phone. The files are available so that you can download them. And you could edit the files if you wanted to and make them your own. But essentially, the book is open. It's educational. And it's a resource that both teachers and faculty, excuse me, and students can all use freely.